Hold up, hold up, make sure we good. All right, let me play this quick, 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 quick. The Cardi B and Offset oh. cheating saga continues. This time, it's Offset accusing Cardi of cheating. Uh, he posted an Instagram story basically saying, quote, my wife blanked a blank on me, gang, y'all, now know how I come. Essentially, he's saying, I believe Cardi B cheated on me with somebody, and Cardi has responded, and she did it in a very public way. She hopped on Twitter. She hopped on this Twitter Spaces conversation. That's called a war. And she sounded off in, yeah. in explicit terms. Take a listen. Don't pay attention to that country, man, y'all. I'm Cardi B. If I was giving this to anybody, it would be out. I'm not just anybody. Can't give me no regular, regular schmegler, because they're going to tell the world. And I can't nobody in the industry, because they're going to tell, too. So please, boy, stop acting stupid. You can't accuse me of all the things. You know that you are guilty of. Like, get the f out of here. Like, you, you can't be serious. <laughs> you got me so hot on my mama, bitch. Would have broke a bottle in his head for even playing with me if he was next to me. So she. Oh, say, hold up. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's funny? What she said, she was like, um, she was like, if if I was giving this pussy to anybody, it wouldn't be out. Bitch, it came out. Apparently, <laughs> not this nigga know. Exactly. It came, it got out. You pretty much, you pretty much contradicted yourself because obviously the shit came out, nigga. This nigga found out somehow that she was giving that pussy away. And and to be honest, bro, I, I want to add that in this industry, bro, this uh, this. Uh, entertainment industry. There ain't no faithfulness, bro. Even, even nigga, Jay Z cheated on Beyonce, nigga. He got one of the baddest bitches in the industry. He cheated on her. That just goes to show you, bro. There's no loyalty when when you when you have unlimited options on both sides for the for the male and for the female. When you have unlimited options, bro, faithfulness is really really hard to come by, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, you know what like I, mean? I say. You you be when, when niggas love that extra freaky shit. Yeah, that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because you know Cardi B was throwing it back. Gotta, you know, she throwing yeah. it back. He just, ah, he just trying to, yeah. he trying to, he trying to, he, 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 he can't, he, 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 <laughs> he can't, he can't believe it. He can't believe it. Like, damn, bro. Like, like I got Cardi B, nigga. She throwing it back. She bad, nigga. Don't even know that. Like I said, bro, when you, or when you reach a certain level of, of, of status, and money, everybody knows you. You you got exposure. That it, I'm gonna say how Myron Myron like to say it, bro. You're only as faithful as your options. So and and that goes for men. Well, mo, I would say men mostly because women got options regardless. But I think that's so important, bro. Like if you got unlimited DMs, unlimited bitches throwing their pussy at you, unlimited niggas sending you dick pics or whatever you know, whatever side of the fence it, it, it may be on. I feel like it's. It's a it's a lot of temptation there. It's a lot of it's a lot of uh uh it's a lot of temptation. Nigga. How, how do you know one day you might not do it? You might not go to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's real because yeah, <laughs> you're you're more than likely going to go to it. That's the problem. Right, right. Yeah, so I thought I thought that was interesting, bro. This is around the same time when this whole uh uh, uh Adam twenty two. Um, Linda the plug shit came out, bro. It's like, damn. But, but but you know what though, bro? I think to be fair, bro, I think it's harder for men to deal with a cheating female than it is for a female to deal with it. Nigga, it's something that hits your ego if a bitch cheat on you, nigga. It's something that hits your pride a little harder, nigga. Like, ah, this bitch, this bitch went in. But I think you need to pre prepare yourself mentally for that type of shit, bro, because because you never know. You never know. This shit, this yeah, this game is it's crazy. Deeper. That's why yeah, when they deeper. do it, it's deeper. <laughs> no, facts. no and, and, and let me explain to I'm glad you said that because that's true. When a when a man cheat on a woman, bro, not saying this is not an excuse, it's just a reality. But when a man cheat on a woman, it's because he just want relief. He get he want a nut, he get his nut, and the, the bitch ain't shit. It, it's over. You know what I mean? But when a woman do it, a woman does it because she lost respect for you and she's falling in love with the next nigga. You feel me? You uh, a woman will never cheat on you if she respect you and love you and admire you. You know what I'm saying? And with a nigga, a nigga could love the fuck out his girl and go fuck ten bitches and still love his bitch. But if a bitch cheat on you, that's because she don't love you no more, bro. And like like you said, and that's when it's deeper. And on top of that, a bitch could bring back another nigga baby. 
You know what I'm saying? You you bring back another yeah. nigga baby into your home and you thinking that's your child, this, that, and the third, and you never know. Yeah, no, you that know? shit get that shit get wicked, man. Yeah, no, nah, you they they goes way deeper, like it's, you know, like you said, because it's like the emotions that's involved with that. Um, and not to excuse it either way, yeah, it's, it's wrong either way, but it's like the emotions that's involved with that niggas aren't emotion, emotionally attached um to the person that they that they smash it. So uh women get a lot more emotionally attached to the people that they're having sex with so that that just makes it deeper in itself because it's like like i said going back to going back to adam 22 it's like you pick this nigga out so yeah. what was on your mind like you you must have already been in in your mind like this is what i want so it kind of it, it puts a it, it puts a, a dude in a, a self-conscious state of mind because then he's like what the fuck like this, this nigga is a complete opposite of who i am or whatever and it's right. like you went and chose this nigga. Like it's like uh, niggas don't have that mental emotional connection as far as like when they go and cheat and shit. Like, uh, and they, I would think that they would go out and be like, nigga, like right. they, they, they don't attach themselves to that. They would exactly. they really try to not attach themselves to one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And and then like I said, the vice versa is because think about it, bro. Like. I, I just think men is wired. Men are more wired to provide and protect and shit. And when you doing that for a woman, bro, you get a there's a, there's a certain attachment there that sex can't break just because you. And, and like I said, for just to be clear, this is not an excuse. Like nigga, if you love your girl, don't cheat on her. This ain't no excuse. I'm just explaining the the real reality, the 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 real reality of this shit. A nigga, a nigga is men are are more detached from sex than women are. Women are more emotionally connected and when you when you like I, I don't know if you ever had one night stands bro but you ever have one night stands and have no intention on uh, sleeping with a girl again and she kind of i even though you might tell her but she still get connected to it and she might hit you up blow you up and, and hit you on some shit like uh oh what's up like when we you know when we gonna kick it or whatever and, and to you you like damn like that was just that so it, it's, it's the same thing when your girl i mean when a girl go and cheat she doing that because she's trying to find that connection somewhere else, bro. And that's why it's it's a little it's a little deeper, like you said. Yeah, definitely. You know what it's I mean? Way, it's, it's way deeper. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, you got some niggas who, who get emotionally involved or whatever. Um, but as for as as far as like the for the majority generally, of generally like how speaking, they act, yeah, mm -hmm. generally speaking definitely that, that the women get more emotionally attached so it's like if, if they go out and cheat and they're they're better at it too yeah so it's like if they go out and cheat, they're gonna go through a whole process of it's 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 almost like it's a whole process of trying to make you uh feel that shit like you're trying to mm -hmm. be hurt you know Facts. what i mean so Facts. i mean and, it, and, you, and, you, up. And, and, and females i think where where they don't where they're not good at they're good at hiding the act but they not good at hiding it emotionally because you'll be able to tell and she'll start having a little attitude with you. She'll get irritated at a lot of shit. You can start, you can, you can tell in her behavior uh, that something might be going on, but as far as the act itself, you will never find out. Nigga. You will never know. You will never know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unless, unless she wants you to, unless she wants you to, that's facts. All right. So I got, I got one more story and then I got a question that I want to ask you. Um, and then I don't know if you had something, uh, but I want to, uh, I wanted to show you this, bro. So, uh, this is a clip that I found on Twitter. Um, it was two, two females.